Welcome back, everybody. On this Memorial Day 2020, you are looking at a bird's eye view of Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and Museum right there in the heart of Oakland. Typically, the Great Lawn would be filled with visitors today, a brass band, picnics, military tributes. But on this Memorial Day, because of social distancing concerns, Soldiers and Sailors had to do an about phase and make their annual event a virtual celebration this time. It's a new way to honor the brave men and women who served our country. And Mikey Hood joins us live from Soldiers and Sailors to tell us about the new virtual observance underway. It's called Remembering Together, Even When Apart. Heather David, good morning. I'm live here at Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall, one of the organizations that have come together to commemorate Memorial Day this year with an event called Remembering Together Pittsburgh. I'm here with the CEO, John McCabe of Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall. Good morning, Good John. morning. Good morning. So with uh, so many events being canceled this year, why was it so important for you guys to come together to remember this day? Uh, very simply, one of those events that was canceled was our annual Memorial Day ceremony and celebration. So without having the ability to share this magnificent facility uh, and our stories, uh, with the public um, on a Memorial Day. Many organizations were trying to do something in this virtual time that we're in. We thought, what, let's just take it to them. So we are not being stopped by COVID-19 on Memorial Day. It's one day that we just can't ever forget. Wow, that, that's wonderful. And so this event will be two hours long, and there are several people who are partnering with you on this. Let's talk about some of the events, some of the things that people can participate in. Sure. Uh, well, the most important thing is to jump online and go to rememberingtogetherpittsburgh.org. Actually, it's rememberingtogetherpgh.org. And from there, you can log on to the webcast beginning at 10 a.m. And we will start on our, in our auditorium with uh, the national anthem, um, we have a, a presenting the color guard, and we have uh, three wreaths that will be laid in honor of the fallen, and this will be followed by a uh, rifle salute and taps, and that will pretty much conclude the the live portion that will be here today. But afterward, there are for the next 90 minutes, there are so many organizations and communities that have uploaded special messages and photographs in their own tributes that will play throughout that time. Um, a couple of our exhibits will be shared virtually as if you were here with the, with the viewers. Uh, we have a, a few musical numbers from uh, the Brassroots doing a wonderful branch specific tribute and a gentleman named uh, Darden Smith, a singer songwriter that has a most appropriate song for today. Uh, and then at the, at the end of everything, we have a special slideshow that we do every year, and it's showing all of the names and faces of those Pennsylvania service members who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Wow, that's so touching, and I, I love how you've just involved the entire city, the entire region. Now, one more time, how can people participate? They, they go online to your website? Sure, they can get there on our, our website. Uh, if they're familiar with the Veteran Breakfast Club, they can go to their website, or just Google rememberingtogetherpgh.org, and you'll find the, the link to go to the, the webcast. Oh, well, thank you so much, John, and for everything that you are doing for the city. If you want to participate in today's Remembering Together Pittsburgh, you can visit pittsburghtodaylive.com. We will have all of that information for you there. Uh, Heather, David, we'll send it back to you. All right, Mikey, thank you so much for bringing us that important information. And remember, you can also watch the memorial on CBSN Pittsburgh, which is also streaming, always streaming at kdka.com.